Hey guys, um, I'm back. This is my 28, 29, and 30 week video. Um, I know I said I was going to get on here every two weeks, but things have been crazy as always. Um, so, so, going back to my 28th week, um, I had my three hour glucose test. Um, I was sick, made me sick, having to like fast and then not eat for all those four hours. <coughs> But, I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, let's see. I, at 28 weeks, I also had my first OB appointment at the hospital that I'm at. And I'm here. Um, let's see. The doctor said... Oh, I asked the doctor about the whole room situation. Like, the thing that I was freaking out with before. He said that I may, I may be able to get a room. It just depends on how many people decide, I mean how many people, other other women go into labor at that time. If it's a full house, I'll be stuck with somebody else. If it's not, I won't be stuck with someone else. So it just depends. But he also said something about um, if the husband's consent, the two husbands of the babies, I mean of the wife, of the mothers, if they consent then, then, they, then one of them can stay. But I guess not both of them or something. I don't know, he was... I got lost in the sauce, but, um, anyway, so then I got my, um, uh, my 28 week, um, appointment, they told me that I failed my three hour test, um, he said it wasn't sky high, but it was above what it's supposed to be, so they sent me to a specialist, and I was given a glucometer to poke my finger with, um, four times a day. I have to poke it in the morning when I wake up, so a fasting number, and then I have to um, get a reading two hours after every main meal. Um, they also said I had to um, eat regularly. Um, I had to have breakfast, snack, lunch, a snack, dinner, and snack. <coughs> and it had to be like pretty much the same time every day. Like I pretty much had to be on a schedule of eating. That's has been really hard um because i stay awake half the night and then i can't i can't sleep or whatever and i don't wake up until like noon so to have six meals from noon to the time i go to bed is not possible but i've been trying um then nothing really significant happened at 29 weeks um at December 16th, I turned 30 weeks. Um, when I was almost 31 weeks, I had my first, not my first, I'm sorry, I had an OB appointment, and the doctor said, um, it said that most of my, um, glucose readings were good. Um, she asked why I skipped some days, and I told her why. Um, I was also having trouble with, um, I would eat breakfast and I could only eat a certain amount of food and then I had to eat two hours later. But after like the first half hour I was like starving already. <coughs> so I felt like I couldn't get in the, I couldn't like have like a middle. I was either starving because I didn't eat enough food but I had all I could eat or I was just like, screw it, and I was eating, and then my numbers were like, sky high. So, um, that was frustrating. I even like almost, pretty much almost cried during my appointment when I was telling her. I guess because I felt like a little kid getting scoldings. <laughs> um, she was like, why, how come you didn't do this, and how come this, and how come that? And I was just like, well, you see, th this is hard. So she ended up telling me that she would, um prescribed me um, Glyburide. So tw I take two and a half milligrams daily. I take it in the morning before I have some before I eat. Um, and then she sent me to the Diabetes Care Center also to meet the to meet a true nutritionalist. The other one that I met was um, more of an aide, I guess. So this lady, um, she didn't give me a meal plan, but um, she helped me understand how to read labels and figure out what I could eat and what I couldn't eat and 
when was it a good time to eat certain things and when it wasn't a good time to eat certain things. Like she said not to take not to like drink like orange juice in the morning. Which how am I supposed to not drink orange juice with my breakfast? I don't know, that was hard. So she said if I want orange juice or I want juice, I can have it like in the afternoon, like at lunch time or dinner time. But anyways. They also sent me to get two labs done. Um, I, I should get the results at my next appointment, which is January 12th. Um, one lab was to get a blood count to make sure I'm not anemic. And the second lab was to check my blood sugars for the past three months. Um, let's see. Another thing that happened is I scheduled a tentative... Um, date for my maternity my maternity shoot so I'm really excited about that I know it's going to be cold here um, but she said that she she usually does outside ones oh, but the past like few past like week or so the low has been like 22 and the high like 36 or something so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work but hopefully we get a pretty day and hopefully we get a sunny day. I'm going to be doing it um, January 14th or so. Um, whichever day seems to be better during that week. Or during that weekend. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, as you can maybe tell, we're in Jordan's room. But I haven't done a video yet of her room. Um, after I upload this video, then I'll record... Um, her room. I'll do a nursery tour. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking me, and I'm sorry. I um, We barely finished it. Like a couple, I think Friday we barely, barely finished it. And I haven't been putting pictures up because I wanted to do this tour instead of just pictures. So, yep. That's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and thanks. Bye. <laughs>